Hmm? Hi, Internet. I'm Steve the Cosmere Knot, and this is Raffo. The one main rule Sanderson uses to delineate which of his books are in the Cosmere and which are not is that Earth, in any form, does not exist in the Cosmere. If a story takes place on Earth, references any locations on Earth, or has any history of Earth, then it ain't Cosmere. But the Cosmere, in its entirety, is set in its own little globular cluster, and the universe is big. Really big. So is it possible that somewhere in the vast infinities of the universe, beyond that dwarf galaxy, there exists a small blue planet known as Earth, home to hamburgers and wombats and the Eiffel Tower? And isn't it therefore also possible that in those same vast infinities, there exists a small rust-colored planet called Gallifrey, home to the Time Lords? Not just possible, but practically confirmed. The Doctor visited Roshar at some point in the last 4,500 years after the last desolation, or maybe before when they were figuring out their writing system, because this is the actual canonical glyph for physician, Doctor. Rosharan glyphs are often meant to be pictographic in nature. Men aren't allowed to read, so they have to visually communicate what they represent in some way. And on Roshar, something that very clearly looks like the TARDIS communicates the concept of a doctor. I wonder if it's Hoyd. Incredibly old, can change his appearance, a pacifist, happens to be in just the right place when big things are going down. Did the doctor retire to the Cosmere? Or maybe he came here first. White hair, hawkish face, a young this guy? Oh, and if you think about it, each magic or shard has a pure tone or a distinct rhythm. A sonic screwdriver could totally disrupt, maybe even hack or replicate Cosmere magic systems. Thanks for watching! I was hoping this video would be me diving into the recent Doctor Who Commander decks in Magic the Gathering, but I haven't had much of a chance to play them yet. That should be coming soon, for all hundred of you that will actually watch it. If you want to play Magic with me, or any other tabletop game, I'm setting up a Raffo game night before Dragonsteel convention. So if you're in the area before the con, come hang out! Details on that will be forthcoming. Subscribe, follow me on social media, join my Discord, and you'll be sure to hear about it. I'll probably do a giveaway of some sort at that event. I'm proud of the swag I've made. If you want some of that, support me on Patreon. Packages are going out to all my supporters, with Doug, Matt, Steve, Data Gremlin, Alec, Craig, and the brand new Scotty May getting fancy World Hopper t-shirts. Who's getting a t-shirt? Well, Scotty May. Next month, Dragonsteel will be sending out the Stormlight-themed box for the Year of Sanderson. So my video next week will be 5 Reasons Why You Should Not Read the Stormlight Archive. If you haven't yet, you'll learn why I recommend you don't read and find out. Okay, but this could get crazy. Because of the Cosmere's connection to Doctor Who, I could conceivably argue that it's also in the same universe as Star Trek, Law and Order, the entirety of the DCEU, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and The Office. Let me know if I should do a video about the Tommy Westfall continuity. There's a lot, but you gotta watch and find out on that one.